Okay, well, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, well, Sal, uh, let's, let's get on with what the important thing is here. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> thank you for doing this. But I, uh, listen, having people of credibility say the things that actually happen for them is just, you're in that, and you know how much that means instead of me trying to convince somebody, you know? For sure, and, yep. Uh, and I got your picture bigger, so I, I, fi I found the button. Mm, <laughs> so how I'd like to start, Sal, uh, so uh, what's your name and, and company? You, what, what is it that, uh, mm. what, is, what is, go ahead. So my name is Sal Leto. That's short for Salvatore. And I'm currently serving as the chief network officer for Avoria Prime. Okay, awesome. And uh, we started here a month ago and what I'd like to do is just uh, touch base on a few things uh, to start with. When, when you first heard about this from Jamie, like what what was your first response like uh, i know we ended up having a quick call uh like could you feed fill me in because most people like the we're, reason i'm doing this is people are like what is it how does it work you know that kind of stuff doesn't make any sense <laughs> so yeah so um you know first off um i do have a a spiritual life you know my, my spirituality has been an important part of my life for a long, long time. And I would like to say I'm cautious when I meet new people that may have different spiritual ideas or philosophies than, than myself. Yeah. Um, Cause I know how impactful spiritual belief and spiritual identity is to every other area of your life. For me, it's the core foundation of where I operate from in every decision that I make. Um, everything is, is really starting from my spiritual life. So when Jamie approached me, um, I, I was uh, very reserved. I was very cautious, um, especially if someone is being pushy. I believe that the spiritual journey at least for my history has been more of an organic natural evolution. I haven't really had to force anything to happen spiritually. So when I feel like someone is being forceful um, yeah. to me, that's a little bit of a, of a red flag. However, I, I do remain open-minded. The reason I'm open-minded to listen to people is because I've learned you can't judge something and you can't judge someone until you talk to them yourself and you actually interact and engage yourself. And I've had prayers, you know, where I, I, I pray to God, um, yeah. asking to show me how to grow, how to transform spiritually, because um, I've read books and I've watched videos and I've seen a lot of evidence of people that have um, been able to do remarkable things and bringing value to the world because of their own spiritual power and, and their own anointing that they walk in. And so I've prayed, you know, saying, I, I believe we, I don't believe we're physical bodies with a spirit. I believe we're spiritual bodies um, with a, with a physical tent. And I believe that this lifetime is temporary. And so I believe we have an eternal spirit. That's my personal belief. And so because of that, I want to grow spiritually or like what I've learned even recently, I want to transform. I want to evolve. Um, and walk in spiritual power, not just physical stature or physical endurance. So because I've prayed that, then when new opportunities come into my life, I need to be open to that because that could be the answer to my prayer. I don't believe in praying for something and then being closed-minded when an opportunity presents itself. It could be the answer to your prayer. So right. when, when Jamie first introduced us, like I said, I was very cautious. I was reserved, yep. and um, but I was open, and um, I, I always believe in in giving someone a chance, having a conversation with someone. Um, so that's that's kind of how I approach things in the beginning. That's how I felt, and then you know after our our brief conversation, I felt like I you know understood your your vibes a little bit more, where you're coming from, a little bit more about your intention. 
and um, it it checked off well for me. And I saw that you know you are you are genuinely trying to help people, and you did have value to share. And so after our first call, I I said okay, I'm willing to go a little bit further with this, and that's that's what brought us here. Right on. And so then we had our first. Uh... Uh, we had our first uh, meeting about a month ago, our first uh, session. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, I call them transformations because each one of them are so, and what a transformation is, as you know, is shifting a person's identity from who they think they are to the identity of who they truly are. And that's what a true transformation is. So uh, I know that first one was um, certainly not as powerful as your second one, but that first one was still pretty significant. Uh, um, do you remember some of the highlights from that? I, uh, aha moments? Um, yeah, so um, my biggest takeaway from our first session was basically it was, it was um, exposing me to where I was placing my, my own value. And, you know, covering some of the sessions with you about, you know, the, the best day of my life, you know, talking about miracles that have happened in my life when I felt amazing. And then the opposite, you know, talking about dark times and when I felt really small and weak in life and, and hopeless, going through those things, um, those are things that, you know, we don't think about often, you know, it's not like every day we, we think about those things. So that was amazing going through those times and then being able to re-experience the emotions of those times but the biggest breakthrough was me realizing that me describing the best day of my life versus the worst day of my life <laughs> um, that it, it was all externally based meaning it was you know what made me feel amazing was because of what people said to me what other people outside of me or things that happened to me outside of myself and then the worst day of my life, you know, the dark times were, again, what people said to me, what, how people made me feel. And so it was like when you're talking about the best and the worst, you're talking about the highs and lows of your emotions. And I realized that my emotions were attached to my circumstances. My, my emotions were, were based on what people said to me and what people thought of me and how other people valued me versus how I value myself versus um, who God created me to be. So that's a big misalignment. And that was my biggest breakthrough. I, I said, wow, you know, I, I've, you know, I've even taught people and even um, spoken and trained on not being bound by circumstances. And, you know, that first session showed me that there was still a, a huge area of my own life where I was still bound to circumstances and that's not as powerful as being bound to eternity. So that was great. Um, that, that was a huge breakthrough. And from that moment, my follow-up was not as strong as, as we discussed on applying um, the, the practices and the sessions and focusing on what I had learned um, every single day. However, it was still powerful enough to make me think about it every single day since that moment um, because it was powerful um, you know, I could feel my, my spirit yearning for more. I, I want to go deeper. I want to grow. I want to evolve. I want to transform more because I know, you know, I'm only 35. I know that there's still so much more that I need to learn and so much more revelation I want to receive about the spirit realm and about who I am and about eternity. So I know that, you know, for someone who's not been through the process, it could sound weird or crazy, especially if they're a part of an organized religion. Um, where maybe they're they're taught not really to speak on such things publicly or to be so open and comfortable speaking about such things to be very careful. That was me, um, and I'm at a I'm, I'm at a place now where I'm very comfortable. I'm very peaceful. Um, I'm very excited. And um, you know, after our our last session, which was the second one, that was yeah. icing on the cake. That kind of uh, for me co completed the initial phase of what we were doing. And uh, it's been incredible since my, my daily life. I mean, my emotional state, my mental state, my peace. Um, I feel like I've been able to hold on to the, the revelations that I received. And that, that helps, me make, helps me make such better decisions with my life right now every single day. 
And did you notice how they're, they're just, it's just kind of natural, kind of like those hazel brown eyes of yours, you know, like it's, it's just a natural, it's not, okay, what do I do in this situation? It's like, uh, you're noticing that it's just naturally happening, happening naturally, I should say. I, 100%. And that makes me very, very excited. It's very exciting because when you, when you walk in um, knowing who you really are and, and you really do know and you, yeah. and you can feel it and you can see the world through the filter of, of who you really are, it's exciting because it removes all of the pressure to perform. You know, so many of us, we worry about performing well and doing well and succeeding versus failures but when you realize that you're gonna succeed not because of how well you can try or how well you can perform but you're gonna succeed just because of who you are and that it's organic and that it's it's gonna happen by default hey it that's that's amazing right it's like a huge weight is lifted off on uh being worried about your future you're you're a lot more open to things uh just going just going well for you naturally Well, we just finished up the external where you were so clear on the external and shifting into the internal and how everything is happening so naturally now as a result. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So uh, um, now, was there a surprise to the speed to which all of this happened to you? given the industry you're in and, and all of the journeys you've had along the way, like how quick um, this is. You know, to be honest, uh, yes. And, you know, and it's kind of funny because um, I feel like I, I could have um, followed through a little bit better on my, on my own after our first session on just taking time to, um, sit and and recall and and meditate you know chew on what we did in our first session which I felt like would help me hold on to what I received yes. um, even stronger and better right so it's kind of funny because I feel like I could have gone even faster however in the in the big picture um, the progress that I've made in in holding on to what I've received now it's been one month and one month of dramatic internal change that's incredible speed um you know and like you said it's not it's not even being forced now it's just it's just occurring naturally and it's not it's not by human effort you know that's basically what it comes down to it's not something that you're gonna um learn throughout the course of years and years um you just have to be open and willing to make the right decisions at the right time and yeah it's i i'm i'm excited i actually have started recognizing because of my transformation, I started recognizing um, things in, in people around me yes. um, out of, out of love. But I mean, I started recognizing things where people um, operate from places of hurt or places of a misalignment of identity. And, and I've been able to even already talk to a couple of people about their own identity and help them overcome things that have been um, plaguing them for years and bringing peace into their life. And it's only been like 48 hours. Um, Cause that, uh, you know, I speak, I train, I teach all the time. I interact with thousands of people. So now I'm, now I'm super excited to keep going down my journey of holding on to what I received yes. and to, to be a, a vehicle for other people to, to experience the same thing. And, and the last thing on that, Don, when you talk about speed, it's not just speed, but permanence. Yes. To me, that's what, that's what stands out because you know, for example, I'm in business. Okay, I've gone to business conferences where I've heard amazing talks and amazing trainings and I get all motivated and I get kind of hyped up. But then a few days later, I go back to my normal routine and it's like all the emotion that I experienced at that conference or at that training, it just goes away. It's like forgotten about. Um, and, and this is way different. I mean, this has been an internal change to where it's not even emotional and it's just with me. So there's a, a much stronger sense of permanence that I know that this is uh, different and, and it's going to be with me for the rest of my life. Yes, that's the key. And that is it. Now I want to go back to something because I need to give you credit for something. 
So even though it took a month, like where you didn't do anything to it, like as far as the way I wanted it, but you did do things, you picked things, you made things work, you did the internal, uh, the infinite awareness on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Like you said, there wasn't a day went by that you hadn't thought about something we had talked about. So those right. were things that were happening internally for you because of your, your even though there was, a, there was a fight with the ego system, mm -hmm. uh, it, it was, you, you were winning that. You were winning, you were kept doing things that kept you connected. I agree, yeah, there was a great preparation um, for the second session. Yes, yes. And so, and even though it's, uh, you know, only 48 hours and you're seeing all of these things, uh, that's the power. And so when we, I talk about my, my, uh, the mission of finding superheroes and my vision of shifting the conscious from 210 to 444 by December 31st, uh, 2020, it, it's like that, how many people you on your own without them ever knowing who a Don Smith is, mm. have their own shift. And yeah. it, it don't need seven and a half billion people to have this shift for everybody to shift. Isn't that cool? Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's the exciting thing. So, um, anyway, uh, I, I, I'm really pleased, Sal. I know we had bumps in the road along the way and uh, to get going. And I really feel strongly that that was, that was a, an energy that, that was preventing us from getting together uh, because sure. of the power yeah. and, the, and the force of what both of us carry, you know. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so I, I'm really excited about your future. And I, I look forward to us reconnecting in a few weeks so that uh, we, you can share with others some of the crazy, amazing things that's going to take place. Because I just know they, they're going to they just automatically have to. Uh, that's uh, like, um, yeah, like it's, uh, here's an example. I was walking with a friend of mine on Wednesday in Stanley Park. And his 78-year-old brother called him. Okay. And uh, he was telling them all these physical symptoms that he had. And he, he was in a power operated wheelchair and hold and a cane. And then he hung up and he said, what's going on with him, Don? And I said, well, I know what's going on with him. He's terrified of dying. And uh, he said, will you talk to him? So I got on the call for two minutes, two minutes on Wednesday. The next day, he left to stroll her home and walk to the beach. Okay. And wow. And uh, <laughs> in two minutes, two minutes, all that happened. And, and most of his symptoms left overnight. That's incredible. But that's the thing about the transformation. If you, the, the symptoms are stuck to the external identity. Hmm. And when you shift, you shift it to the internal identity, then many times the symptoms just dissolve on their own. How, wow. how cool is that, man? Yeah, I mean, that's amazing. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll say this in my own life that, you know, I've had a very up and down journey, even with food, like with my diet. Yes. And I've had times where like I'll be – I'll eat, you know, what's considered healthy, you know, lots of greens and vegetables and get rid of sugar and, you know, just kind of eat healthier for a couple of weeks. And then I'll lose track and just go, you know, on a, on a binge, you know, eating like fast food and eating like garbage and accepting that, you know, even though it makes me feel bad, you know, um, health is important to treat your body well so that you can look and feel your best. And, you know, this last month since our first session, um, I've, I've gained so much more control over my, I would call it an addiction to food. I've gained, it's like not even a part of my life anymore. I'm making healthier choices. It's easy. Um, I'm seeing results physically on my body. Um, you know, my, my relationships in my life are improving um, because of my ability to respond from a place of love without 
without responding from a place of hurt. And, you know, one of the last things I want to make sure I say on this, Don, if people are watching this, is that um, what one of the greatest benefits of going through this journey yes. is a lot of times uh, things have happened to us, whether it be um, things that someone said to us or circumstances that happened in our life where we made certain decisions to believe certain things. And the greatest overcoming power so far of what I've experienced is to be able to go back emotionally, go back before those things happened to realize that when those things happened, you know, what, what, what people have said to me, um, bad things that have happened to me that I, I started to believe things about myself that were negative and that were not true though. I, I believed lies based on the way people have treated me and to go back before those things happened and reconnect with who I am um, without being tainted by this world and, and, and judged by the, the oppression of other people and being hurt by other hurt people to go back before that, back to my, my more pure state. Um, and then to bring that pure state back to today's reality and operate from that place where I'm not hurt by people anymore. I'm not operating from a, a place of uh, bitter, bitterness or false identities. Um, that's just so powerful. And, and I, it's like, you know, it's made me realize like the way I respond to people has changed because normally I've respond from an injured identity. You know, I, I, I've responded from a place of hurt that I've carried with me for years um, because of different things that have happened. And I've gotten rid of that. And now I, I like, I can respond just in a, from a place of purity. I've had the last few days, I've just been laughing there's joy in my life. There's peace. People around me are happier. My, my kids, I'm, I'm giving my kids so much more words of affirmations, expressing, I'm, I'm able to express love so much easier, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, because when you're wounded and, and you've been hurt um, by relationships, then it's, it's hard for you sometimes to express love, to receive love and to give love um, from a place of, of uh, purity. And I'll say that's a dramatic shift, you know, that I, I can receive love openly. I'm excited to receive love from everyone around me, including my own wife, and my children. And now I can openly give love um, without being insecure, without being worried that I'm going to be hurt by someone else because uh, no one else has any strength or power over me anymore because I've discovered my natural power, my, my natural uh, value that it, it's, it's been with me since the day I was conceived and, it, and it's going to stay with me forever. So I just want to share that because that to me has been the greatest impact. And if you could, and if you could um, uh, transform the relationships in your life, because you've transformed your own relationship with yourself, um, then that's going to impact every other area of your life. And that's exciting. And uh, I can't wait to see more people experience this. Well, one of the things you, you, you just glossed over that others need to have clarity on, when you went back to your pure state, the thing we uh, went back to the pure state on was after I, I, uh, I, I burst that, uh, the bubble off your black red, the uh, positive and negative mm -hmm. uh, external belief systems. I did that first before I showed you your purity. Mm. And then you just walked up through and it all was gone. Yeah. You got to remove, you got to remove what's there to see beyond, right? Yes. Yes. So I had to do that first. Neurologically, not, this is not an intellectual process. You must, you figured that one out really quick mm -hmm. uh, and it's neurological. And when I lanced that emotional boil, boom, the illusions of who you thought you were, were gone. And I showed you your purity and you walked through and here you are. And it's as easy as keeping your eyes hazel brown. How cool is that, man? It's the best thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best thing ever is right. Finding out who you are and living in it. For that, sure. That, that's it, bud. Well, yeah. listen, uh, I'm excited. And there will be, I'm going to say this even though, 
this is on video. Uh, uh, it's like it's really important to document your specific changes, not general. Mm -hmm. It's really important. So that builds up. Oh my God, this is what's happening in my divinity, my triple I divinity. Wow. You know, and uh, yeah. and just so you know, going back to the old food patterns was you abusing yourself. Wow. Yeah. That's what that was. That was the shame and the abuse in the external driven system. Wow. Yeah. See, they're all linked. Everything's linked, man. It's like a cobweb. Yeah, I believe it. I mean, I see it and it's gone. I mean, that's, you know, that's the good news. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you something just so you, whether you remember it or not. Mm -hmm. all that stuff left in one instant. It took me a while to show you what it all was, but in the instant it, uh, it was created, it was gone in that same instant. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I've seen that, you know, because it, the, it's like a, a daily process of discovering more and more benefits to what happened, but it always goes back to that moment. You know, where it's like, wow, since then, here's another benefit. Since then, here's another benefit. It just keeps going. Yes. And uh, uh, you need to know something, Sal. It's because of all of your work and all of your searching and all of those things you did previous that's allowing you to have this happen so effortlessly. Mm. So kudos to you, man. In every language. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for more. Okay, bud. Well, we, uh, uh, let's connect in a few weeks, see how you're Good. doing. And I really appreciate you doing this video because this is, this is what people are going to listen to. They're not going to listen to a Don Smith. They're going to listen to a Sal Lito. Saying it's, all about, it's all about who we know, who we like, and who we trust, right? One relationship at a time. So anyone who knows me, um, I'd love to talk to them uh, if they have any questions and yeah, um, my, my pleasure. Any, anything you need done. I mean, you've been a huge blessing in my life. Anything you need, uh, you let me know. Okay, man. Awesome. You have a magnificent day and enjoy your family. All right, Don, have a magnificent day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.